I mean, it's going to be a more problematic relationship. I mean, there's a deep and long historical relationship there, which both sides can draw upon. But there's been a sort of a shift in the balance of power over the years, shall we say. I mean, there's the UK leaving uh, the European Union, looking for trade deals. Uh, the UAE is the fourth largest market for uh, the UK, certainly in the MENA region. Well, in fact, it's, it's the primary market in the MENA region, so it needs the UAE. At the same time, the UAE has diversified its relationships over the years. I mean, it's got strong relationships, obviously, with the US, but it's reaching out to Russia, it's reaching out to China. So the UK, as a partner, is sort of diminishing in importance. So there's a shift in the balance of power, and we can see that playing out. With this particular case, it's symptomatic of that shift. A few years ago, the UAE, MBZ in particular, persuaded Prime Minister Cameron that the UK should conduct an inquiry into the Muslim Brotherhood. It was something the UK government did not want to do, but felt obliged to do it because there were some defence contracts waiting on that. So we've got this period now where the UAE is sort of pushing back. It's beginning to punch way above its weight. And the UK has to sort of, you know, box and cox with that, particularly as it wants to get some trade deals. And the UAE is such an important trade partner.